go. Yes. Cool. There I am. Um, cool. Okay. So, uh, think the, the carpets are probably better than the maze. Maybe, um, I did run an extra force of vigor and it was like the right call for that league, but it didn't pay off. Um, so yeah, things are definitely going to change this list. I'm at least going to replace Scrib Ranger with Moloch. Ranger has been good, but not great. Um, it has its moments where it's very useful. So I'm going to continue to run it. But it's like, it, it feels like it's missing something. It might be more than just mom too, to be honest. Um, maze, I mostly put in for rhinos. And my theory was running maze would help that match up. Like one maze would help that match up more than one engineered explosives was my theory. Um, engineered is a better card in the matchup, but maze would be better to like have as a one of that because you could find it. Um, Force of Vigor, I think actually, I think I am going to stick with this now that I keep talking about it. I could see replacing a maze with another Reb, perhaps. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, yeah, let's try that. I think the Draco stuff is coming up big. Um, let me really think about that. So against, yeah, I just think Maze is just not quite there. It's close. Um, I feel like against Rhinos and Initiative and Infect, as an example, which is like a deck you don't really see anymore, Maze is like pretty good. Um, but... I think for rhinos at this point, I'm just going to hope to just like dodge it. Um, yeah, I think that's where we're at here. Let's get a sip and let's get the games going. Cool. So it's the same list with an extra red. Um, Against that control deck, I wanted to draw Reb like every top deck. And I, I feel like I wanted Force of Vigor as well. Run that Dave Matthews here. I like Crush a lot. This might be one of them. This is like a top three for me, I think, for that band, for Dave Matthews. Ant's Marching is great. Um... Trippin' Billies is another one I like a lot. I think Satellite's a great song, but it's not... It's not Crush. Yesterday was not the greatest results. Um, kind of just waiting for Moloch to become available. The way that I understand it is it's going to be at least 40 bucks. No, sorry, at, at most $40. To buy the deck that contains Moloch is going to be $40. So Moloch will be less than 40 when it comes out. Because you could just buy the deck and get other cards too. The thing is, I don't know... I don't pay attention to, like, sealed product. 
so I don't even know if any other good cards come in the mall lock deck. Um, let's keep it. It's a little risky because we don't have white, but I think it's worth the risk. A lot of reanimate too in the format. Cool, oh, pretty good draw. If it's Delver, then this isn't so bad. A stifle here, just whatever. Not stifle, uh, days rather. Something like show and tell would be a little tough. The knight is nice, but kind of hard to win with just knight. Breaks us, huh? I think one of the things that I like least about the current state of legacy is so here we are. They have six in hand. If they daze, daze goes to the yard, or if they force of will, they if they force a will here, next turn they could Merc Tide. And there's just nothing I could do. Um I think we're forced into this. Knight is also a 3-3. Three, three. That's like another thing I'm dealing with here. I think this is a Merc Tide. No. Yeah. Babel. Okay, cool. This definitely complicates things, huh? Did not expect that. I think we just keep it simple here. Knight is still a 3-3. Three, three. So. Plowing now might might not have been worth more than two damage, so to be honest. One damage, rather. Um, hard to say. Because maybe they would have discarded differently. They're discarding Force of Will. Next turn should be able to cast Knight. Oh, there goes that. If they miss a land drop, it's much more compelling to waste here. I still may, but it's not as compelling. Yeah. Um, okay. their life total is pretty low.
Nothing I could do. Okay. So this should be very good. Looks like they don't have a cling to dust or anything. Ramonap. Uh, not Ramonap. What am I talking about? A little bit of ignorance is an issue here. Because I don't know what they're doing. I feel like I just get ooze here. Now I really don't know. Let's attack. I take it? Holy shit. I have no idea what's going on, chat. Not a clue. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a cool opponent. Um, I don't think they dazed me. So maybe I could try that. Um, so shout out the Dooges gave me, they said they knew me from that. That's pretty cool. Man, taking plow out is like so risky in a world of Murktide, so. Gotta be Bowmasters, I guess. Maybe I just take out like the artifact kill tech here. Could see that. Doing a trade. Like my instinct is like cut on the plows against the control deck. Maybe I try that. Fable's really good though. Like Fable looping Snapcaster sounds fucking nutty. All right, I'm going to take a risk. I have no idea what's going on. Hey. Good to see you, Carador. Going against Grixis control with Snap and Fable. So I have no idea what to expect here. I 
I am excited for tomorrow, though. I tell you what. I think I'm going to try to go Saga here. Although I'm not sure. I may want to turn to Endurance. Okay, white. Containment priest, okay. It is tempting. And this song is called Temptation. Don't love this play, not my style, but... Could be good. Could be bad. I think I'm going to fetch twice here. I just have a bad feeling that they're going to play not a wasteland, but like the opposition agent. It just, it feels like that's what they're up to. Okay. So, un would be very good here. Opponent knows. I'm behind no matter what here. Really awkward that I drew this now. I think I'm forced into this. Um, they know about endurance. There's no hiding it. Oh, okay. It's a lot of mana. Oh, no, I can't play Containment Priest. Or, sorry, I can't play Dryad Arbor. I just threw Dryad Arbor in the garbage. Ugh. Okay. Well. Okay, they're doing this. Okay, they might not have known about the second Endurance, actually. I might have been able to have pulled a fast one. Oh, wait. They lost their thing, too. That's funny. They lost their card as well. Oh, I didn't mean to get Shadow Spear. Whoops. I guess it's good, though. Bolt. 
bolt the other one? Okay. So, that's rough. They have a million billion mana. Yeah, it's funny the way that their priest killed their their uh, other flip side. Discarded. Okay. I'm feeling okay about this still, but it could be worse. I think in the things that you're doing, yeah, I think you should give it a shot. I think I need the life here. So. I guess I should have assigned blocks first though, huh? Is that a deck thin, you think? Alright. Since I think that's a deck thin, I'm gonna cast this now. Just like a sign of like potential weakness. Oh, uh sorry quest. Good to see you, Salty. Um I don't know. Cryptic or the command card. Best song ever. Punfire. Oh, Punfire's cousin. So they have eighty six billion mana. I pretty much have to draw like fiery justice or pun here. Endurance is pretty good. Pyroblast is okay. Not really what I want. They play bolt, so. I bet you they have thing. Damn it, they have thing. Okay. Um, there are no outs here now. 
right? Even fiery justice doesn't get you out of this one. So we are dead. I just want to see what we're going to get. Okay. Bummer. Yeah, not what I pictured. Okay, Scrib Ranger can go. I think I want Outland Liberator. Don't think I want Needle. We'll do the trade here. pretty cool it sounds like older punk but it was released recently yeah that's true um I'm trying to think of what i would trade i like the the pun seems really good maybe the plows are or the blasts are too much like like exchange yeah, I think trimming would have been better. I think you're right. So I will pyro a cantrip if they go for it here. I am leaning heavily on this card here. Pretty good. Or so well, damn. Best draw is land that isn't Saga. Well. Damn. All right, we are all in here. The Pip Boy. Oh, uh, the equipment. Um, I don't know. No, you son of a bitch. That's like the worst, worst possible situation for me here. That's really bad, too. What the fuck? So we'll float with this one. We get, uh, gosh, maybe the shadows. Be uh, I'm gonna go with this because I think I'm gonna need to draw a card. I'm smelling a call of God's command. I'm definitely getting my day fucked up here. There's like no two ways about that.
Maybe I should have mulled. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's so much butt. I guess it's not that bad, though. Like, it's bad, but it's not the end of the world here. Just really want to draw mana. There it is. Okay. So float with this one. Yeah, here we go again. Um, I drew three sagas. We're desperate enough. Pretty good draw. I'm uh, gonna have to fail to find here. Yeah, exactly. Countering that is is pretty relevant. Um, I'm gonna take a risk here. Well, only one of those cards is good. Yeah. Okay. One in hand. Looks like they don't have plow. Another night, another dream. But always you is pretty good. Um, I I sure am. I'm really excited about it to be honest. Uh, I think it's gonna be a big difference maker for the deck. Um. We do this. Um, and then we just pass. Um, I, I don't know what plays. By the way, I, that was a pretty cool song, Carador. Sounded new and fresh. Okay. I don't think I get Saga here. I think maybe Grove, if anything. But like... Let's just get a fetch here. Just make them a little larger. <laughs> she, you know, she... I, I think it could have happened. Okay. Man, I, I don't know what to do here. Um... 
clearly plague engineer is a butt um so let's let's equip to here uh 10 10 and 9 9 so i think we get in with the trample boy or the trample lady that just ha um that just happened <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, I could have wasted two, but I, I don't think the extra damage is, is great. Um, that just happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I think I say no good day, sir. Um, we're going to ditch this one. Give him the bog, aggro boggins. Yeah, that felt good. And then I think it's the Snoop D-O-double-G's here most likely. Play another, another waste. That's good. That's good. Um, let's equip. Let's do that big swang. Polygon's command would be annoying, but manageable. Okay. That's still GG though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to one, bro. Yeah. Cool game. A uh, cool opponent. Um I I don't think I seen like a Fury. Yeah, but I didn't see um Bowmasters or anything like that. So, really cool. Yeah opponent they knew Dougal that's always good yeah uh avid user I I do think um I I think 40 or less dollars is what I heard because I think it's 40 dollars if you want to buy the deck so like Moloch is gonna be you know 40 minus the card value of the other cards in that deck. And I couldn't tell you any of the cards in the deck, you know? I don't even know which deck Mallock is in. St. Cath, you think? Okay. So St. Cath will be thirty nine ninety nine or something. No, until April 5th, yeah. I am a little bit nervous about how long it took that I sort of think... It'll be uh, a long time before they uh, reprint them or put them in packs, if at all. Yeah, like if there's more than one good card in a deck, then I think the price will be lower. Is my read. At least on the initial, you know, come out here. So last seen on R. That is R. Um, okay, so I do not apply all this hand. Ooh, okay. I think I have to. Damn. Well, not damn. What the fuck? My deck is, like, so kind to me. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Holy shit. I think I drew two plows, like, consecutively. All right. Fourth plow. Let's do it. <laughs> or third plow. <laughs> okay. So Moloch would be good here. I can't get it. No. Um, I think we just played that. Yeah, that's so much, but Yeah, I don't even know if I want to target myself. And I'm black, black, green, and brown. Harma go oh, okay. Yeah, Moloch. Moloch. I think I have to get an endurance here. Just trying to think. Um Knight is a 3-3. Three, three. It's 2 plus. So... Knight... Knight is the same. Because the mana cost here is 0. So... I just can't block the goblins. But they have a thing. Muxus, yeah. Just not my game. Yeah, we did. All right. Pretty rough. I drew very well, though, to be honest. It's like, pretty crazy it was that close. Yeah. yeah Maltlock would have been very nice there. Especially if it was in hand. Like, even just having it under green sun zenith, it would have been really good, though. Yeah. Opponents be like that sometimes. Such a stupid sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> Opponents be like that. <laughs> All right. I got to shut up. What the fuck am I doing here? All right. Uh, I think Adaris is okay. Uh, they really do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta I gotta move past I gotta move past it. Um Okay. Needle. We're gonna run the Sylvans because we're crazy on the play, and then on the draw we're gonna make different decisions. I don't know why that one's making me laugh. <laughs> um, can't keep this. Um, fuck. I think this is sucks. Keep.
Yo, Mangork, I don't know. I don't know what that is, Fred. <laughs> oh, that card. <laughs> um... All right, got a rocket in my pocket. I don't know what he says here. Oops. It says something like, that, it's the lyrics of the song. I swear he says it. Hey, yo, good to see you. <laughs> Total magic. I, it, the song. I swear he says that. I got a rocket in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Whoa, so you seeing there's a chance. No, he says, get your hands out of your pocket. No. That's a lot different. That's a lot different. That's different. I'd like to apologize to the community. I'm gonna go on an apology tour here. Please clap. Get your hands out of your pocket. Not, I got a rocket in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. I got a rock in my boots. Bruh. Just, what are you, what are you doing, bro? What's bro doing? <laughs> hey, I star. Yo, turtle. Cool, we got uh, two of them in there. Queuing him up here. Not even sure I want to kill the Blood Moon. I'm not doing great this game. On fire. This is kind of tricky now, huh? Like, had I used the Force of Vigor, I might have been better off here. Let's shoot it. I get, I'm like kind of confused. Like I feel like I'm like one turn from being dead if they have the right card. Like I'm not comfortable. Yeah, it looks like it. Do they sack the moon, huh? Probably not. Okay. That killing the bird is kind of a disaster. Yo, good to see you.
Bruh. Yeah, definitely not. I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't like it. I know that. Whatever it is, they went too far when they created that. What are magic card? Like what once it stops at like menace and haste, you're like, alright, I don't know. I just play by the vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I memorized what Blood Moon does, but I don't I can't read it. I know that when this comes into play, what happens, you know? Man, Moon Rocks is a banger. He does not say I got a rocket in my pocket though. He does does not say that. Ooh, Mr. Big, I haven't heard that one in a while. Oh, whatever it is, it ain't Sticker Goblin. Yeah, I mean, they must have been desperate, right? Um, I did have G up, and I maybe could react. What are read the card? Cool. I did it. I did the thing. Alright. I feel like I didn't play that very well, though, to be honest. But I, I was, like, afraid of giving them Ancient Tomb, and then they killed my bird, and I said, why am I like this? Cool song. The Gale in Red. He on X Games mode... I love that. Played well enough to win, yes. All right, so I am on the draw. You drawing. Um, all right. I take the Sylvans out. I could go Oof out of desperation, Needle out of desperation. I will continue my pursuit to be him. I think maybe that. Needle's pretty good. Is Needle better than, like, 
another endurance or is endurance better than another oof? Yeah, it's it's a big body Bentley. It's a wide body Bentley, I guess. Alright, I don't know. I'm just making this shit up as I go anyway. I kept the hand without plow and won that game. Okay. This is good enough if they're not doing a bunch of asshole shit. If they have, like, a normal hand... Not a normal. If they have a hand that's, like, a 7 out of 10, I might be able to beat it. But I, I can't beat a, an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. These are arbitrary ratings. You know, like a, like a 9-2. My opponent's got a hand that's a 9-2. I got like uh like a six one. Bro. Alright, well that's actually not that bad. Oh my god. Time to start the stream over. What is your dilemma, Mark? Thanks for asking. Um, yeah. Thank you, Noble Hierarch. Okay. They delayed, and I thought they were typing to me I would have won if you lost. Or something. You know, that means that. That isn't exactly that. Haywire might leave up pun. Yo, that's probably better. I don't know what to do. I gotta think about this. I think the Haywire might play would have been better. I think you're right. Especially with the Saga in hand, but like, look at these Soul Lands. I don't think we could have. But. Yeah. We can't beat all the lines that they could have. I don't know if I should play into a fury here either. That's kind of tough, huh? Like, if they have Fury, we're fucked, you know? They have another Redland and a Moxus, we're fucked. Like, it's just, like, we can't beat all the things. Yeah. I think you're right. Maybe I should have just played the Haywire instead. I don't know. All right. This is actually an interesting game of gathering the magicking. One option. Do nothing and fiery justice and
That's not gonna work though. We gotta do something. I, I think it's one of them's gotta die. Okay. You like the broadside bully? And then we might be able to get more value out of fiery justice, I suppose. Yeah. And this is not easy. Nobody said it would be easy. Um, it would be cool if they just like played one more goblin from their hand. Just anything. Just fucking some stupid card. Just do it. Stupid card. All right. No stupid card. That's actually a pretty good draw. Okay. All right, gang. Uh, is this six mana? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be able to do some cool shit here. Okay. What kind of cool shit is that, Mark? Well, hey, funny you should ask because I'm 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 streaming and you're you're listening to my stream. We go wham bam. Thank the ma'am. Right. We got to thank the ma'am. So ma'am is thanked. Right? So 2 1, we say done. 2 1, say done. Then they go, what the hell is that shit? And we go, let's get Punishing Fire back. I'm cringe. And now we have Punishing Fire up. Now we just die to a natural fucking thing. A red land and a Muxus, and I, 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 I'm smelling the Muxus. I smelled that goblin stench. Oh, fuck, why is every play so hard? I think I need to get Knight of the Relic Quarry in the play here. So let's float here. Get that would have been nice. Good to see a CCD smash. Getting Knight of the Corella Quarry. And then we have one turn to fade Muxus. I think. They have five in hand. Like, you gotta think they're gonna fuck my day up soon, right? My day is this cl Wow. Yes, Cage is the decent option against that. Arkin was recommending that. Uh, and I, I think for the few weeks that this deck was like really played a lot, I think it was the right option. Wow. I think the last three times I've played against it, I won. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Definitely felt like my opponent was probably like an inch away from winning that game multiple times. And then maybe they're kicking themselves about a, a sequence of plays that they made or the keep or something. I think they were really close to winning that game. It'd be like that sometimes. Wow. Um, all right, so first matchup was a Grixis control deck. Really cool list playing Snapcasters, Fables, and Fury. Um, I didn't see Bowmaster. 
They could have taken them out against me. I I don't think they did. They may have just not ran it. Um, and then that match against Goblins, two one, long games. Both very long games, actually. Okay. Yeah, I am excited, I Star. Man. This is so close, but I'm going to keep it. It's not great. I think, unlike most Maverick decks, you keep a lot of these hands. Maybe that's just my player preference and I should mull more. Um, Tomorrow is when I heard. Uh, they named Forceville. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nobody tell my opponent I drew endurance. I was dreaming when I wrote this. Uh, I own four. Amateur numbers. <laughs> really? I, I think like certain fetch lands and things like that, I, I have that amount. I mean, it, it's got to be a dredge stack, right? Never been used, okay. Still, I think it's a card that's like Carador adjacent, you know? Like it's not the color that you like, but like you don't have beef with it, you know? It's like theoretically in a future. Oh, really? All right. Um, okay, so gotta be Dredge. Um, I don't... I'm kind of like almost pre-boarded for that matchup. I'm gonna assume it's the LED version. Oh, cool. It's some good old school attack Armageddon. I'm not against it, I'll tell you that. Okay, Scrub Ranger can go. I'm gonna gamble and go no Force of Vigors here. I don't even know if I'm supposed to bring in the Rebs, to be honest. This might be, like, one where I, like, take out the bad cards and bring in the obviously good cards. Which is, like, really just bog. Like, 
Like Bog is like clearly the good card. Everything else is like like Pun is not very good. It has potential, but it's not very good. I mean fiery justice, I guess. Can I'll try this. The reason I'm going for Rebs is Breakthrough. All right. This is a keep. That's why I said Force of Vigors, and I'm kind of getting punished for that. Target. Yep. I'm in trouble. So we'll do the Force of Vigors for sure next game. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we're probably just dead there. Damn. All right, Force of Vigor for sure here. I probably still keep that hand, though. The out at this point. Well, they have Hogak here. I probably should scoop. It's too late, though. No, I just kind of want to see what's going on to there. They do have another therapy. So then they're going to get Hogak in play here. They're probably going to take the Green Sun, I would assume. They could take the Liberator, but it feels really slow. Outland Liberator, okay. Haywire Might is my best draw here, and then, or like Caracas. I'm going to take a big smash in next turn. Probably shouldn't have played the plateau, actually. Um, didn't see Dread return. Let me check here. Yeah. Made a mistake playing the plateau. This actually might just kill me. Eight, ten, fourteen, twelve. Yeah, we're just dead. I should have scooped. I shouldn't have revealed that I have a news. Alright. So we're gonna bring in the force of vigors for sure. We'll take those out. There is, like, a little bit of merit to keeping in Pyroblast on the play. It's probably not worth it, though. I think you bring in Force of Vigor anyway, just because there's so much fluff. All right, we keep this. So, this gets the Soul Guide sooner. 
big part of the matchup. I think I wait. Cool. I did that right too. I got rid of the bridges from the deck, so I didn't even think about it. It just worked. All right. It's probably GG. Um, not bad, actually, like not the draw I wanted, but it it's not bad. Get in there for four. Yeah, I've been hanging around for way too long, if you ask me, though. Good to see her, Mario. Cool to see another dredge player. Tough matchup. Um... All two ones today, close. Games that could have gone a different way each time. I kept a very good hand. Guys being dudes. Guys being dudes. What's better than this? Now the Counting Crows are a band that like you think was a one hit wonder. Um, him. And then you, like, realize, like, they probably have at least, like, five or six songs that were pretty big. Definitely Mr. Jones is, like, by far the biggest. I think that one song about Albert Einstein. Yeah. 
They were big in that era for sure. Um, you know who I didn't realize? I, I didn't realize that song, um, Pave Paradise, put up a parking lot, was uh, Counting Crows. Oh, you did? Cool. How were they? And that was Vanessa Carlton, too, which was like, you know, I remember her from that, uh, would walk a thousand miles. White Houses is her banger, though. Like, White Houses, that's the Vanessa Carlton song. You, you, you think, you know, a thousand miles is the one? It's White Houses. Joni Mitchell originally? Oh, it was? Open for John Mayer. I could see that. That's probably a good show. 20 years ago, too, John Mayer. Yeah. That feels weird saying out loud, 20 years ago, John Mayer. Oh, boy. Time. Time is just one of those things. It just... Just goes by. Days go by. Ah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's that song uh Geo Do Jared likes. I'm gonna throw up on my hands. Johnny, yeah, he got he got promoted. <laughs> John Senator. Games like this, like you know, just it's not that hard, but I, I think I'm going to lead on the Savannah. But, like, it, there is, like, a little bit of thought behind that, you know? Like, if I draw a pun and I won't get the chance to play Saga, that's, like, the downside here. Or if I want to draw... If I want to cast pun and I draw a pun, I won't be able to play Saga. Either 8-cast, but no, that can't be 8-cast. That does not feel like an 8-cast start. This ain't living. Okay. Force of Will here. What did they exile? Force of Will. Force of Will, exile, Force of Will. Okay. Chalice on one. Okay. Trying to think of what's more valuable, one damage or leaving up Wasteland to deny Saga of getting mana. And I think it's that. One damage is something. Tough choices here. Okay. Options here.
I, I don't understand what's happening. I think it's better to do this, but I don't know what I'm going to fetch. I could go... Am I the beatdown here? If yes, Shadow Spear. Um, what I like also about Shadow Spear here is... Yeah, I think it's Shadow Spear. I am not certain. They could have some sort of infinite combo, and if I would have got Haywire Might, then I win or something. I really just... I don't understand what's happening to me here. I think I'm just going to try to kill them. Looking like I made the right choice here. I think. I cannot pay three. Okay. Kind of think we just attack for one. Yeah, Ward is big. Also, they have Chalice. You might not recognize the art here, but they do have Chalice. Um, I think, well... I don't know if they would use Ancient Tomb, so I think I'm just going to hold up the Wasteland here. Because then they would go to die. Looks like I made the right choice. I'm being rewarded, at least, one way to look at it. I'll thin. Damn. Ban Moon White again. Sand and Swarm, that's pretty gnarly. Put that. So they could bounce it and replay it. I don't know how good that is, though. So why does, uh, why is Sand and Swarm? I saw, um, Saito doing that. It's like, I guess, prevents your stuff from getting countered in the second main phase is, like, the mindset. Prevents the force from... Oh, from the smog combo. Shit. All right. That makes more sense.
endurance. I'm gonna nix those. Um, this, this, this. No shit. I should have. <laughs> yeah, I think in like paper magic, these are the things that like happen that I remember, and in MTTO, I just like I just. It just happens to me. <laughs> you know, like, oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. You're right. I should have checked. Does the game end and then you can see the morph cards? I'm guessing that's the case, huh? Yeah, that's that's the truth. Okay. Um gonna try this. Uh don't don't really know what to expect. Uh this is a ball. Oh, it says it's 8-cast. I guess maybe modern-day 8-cast. That's, that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna let my guard down here. And I don't think I want to play this saga yet. Pit stop monitor. Yeah, it's like daddy, some gangstar. It's like one of those like songs where I recognize the beat, but didn't know it until I heard it again. Like, like that beat was in my head for many years and I never connected the dots like oh yeah that's a gangstar song Kate Brick's Cloak 
I don't know the answer to that. I'm not going to say no. I, I just, I, I plead the dumb, dumb fifth. I plead the dumb, dumb. Yeah, Naya Control. Playing against uh, a new version of 8cast. Playing uh, the Coat card, which is like sort of like a, feels kind of like a true name nemesis with like some card advantage factors. Cool. Punishing Saga. Control, yeah. Good to see Eclipse. Cool list. Freddie and Slip uh, playing something. I don't know how many other ACAST players are are trying the equipment, but it's cool to see. Make me an animal. All right, what do you got, Mangork? Uh, options are to refresh your memory. Oops. Um, Panda. All right, yeah. Ch choose an avatar. Panda and a hoodie. There we go. Yeah, I feel like um, it's not bad on its own, and it's a blue card. It's always like a, a thing. Aid stops manifest, so I assume it also stops cloak. Yeah, we are Panda now. For the 5-0, hopefully. There's a 50% chance that we get a 5-0. Witherbloom... Yeah, this is looking pretty spicy, dude. I like it. I like it. All right. The MTGO bot is a snitch. Um, so we're going to look up LBBL. Uh, Demir Scam, Infect, Goblins. Okay, so... Who knows, right? So we mull. We keep this. I guess I'll pitch Saga here. Let's... Probably should have thought about that a little bit more. Yeah, there it is. 2% chance. <laughs> that might be a little harsh, but yeah, I hear you. I don't know who what happens if the client dies. Uh, Sibian Spirit Guide, Blood Moon. All right, there is less than a 50% chance. <laughs> Holy fuck, that sucks. All right. Today was a good day, only it's not that song. So Haywire Might is no longer an option. It's really basic forest from here. I guess even with Haywire Might, it's still basic forest, huh? Cool guy, yeah. Trinisphere, sure. Today was a good day, except I heard footsteps in the dark. Uh, can't can't trip because of uh, chalice. Bruh, moon stompy. Yeah, I do feel worse against many of these piles.
Wondering what the actual wind condition is, though. Like, if it's, like, a planeswalker or something. I don't think it is, though. I think it's just... Alright, yeah, it's just... Dang. Dirty goblins. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I think that's all the information I'm gonna get. Eh, let's just go one more on tap. Step, see what we say. Maybe they'll discard something. They do not. All right. Yes. It's like, yeah. It's it's sort of goblins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. And even then, yeah, it was way too late to draw the one forest. All right, so the third force of vigor was the meta call for this league. And it looks like it may pay off. I think the sideboard's going to be pretty much identical to what I did with goblins. Why did I say it like that? Goblins. You know, the goblins deck. I think I want the Scoos. Could see Oof, maybe. Having something to block the goblins is pretty good. tough call like i think against like muxus i think that version of the deck collector oof is a is a no i'm gonna say no to collector oof here as well just doing another think we suck again <laughs> all right now we gotta win two games in a row This is a keep because I don't lose the Blood Moon. Necessarily. Instantly. Rather. Uh, but yeah, I, I've been losing to this version more than actual, like, Muxus Sticker Goblin. So three mana. The fact that I was forced into playing a forest is kind of a bummer here because they pitch. All right, so it's Blood Moon, Bad Manor. Do I hold the mana dork here to play around like? Fury or something? I guess so. Yeah, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna lose this fucking game and dumbass fucking Space Jam is gonna play the whole time. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, I would. You are right about that. Also, saw a request. You're right. I am wrong. We'll we'll end it with that. Grand Theft Auto Three. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a banger. Four mana. Shitty anemic hand.
Pretty good. Oh, it was actually. Yeah. <laughs> My mouth was like wide open for that. <laughs> it was like an old man with his mouth open, like, Arr. sure. Draw. Oh, yeah, pun in yard. That is good. All right, we got a game. We discard Fury. They have zero in hand. I'm just going to thin. On fire doing work, huh? Okay. Manageable. Um, Muxus check pile, eight cast dredge. Yeah, I am enjoying it. Um, it's I I'm doing the math to make sure that I can pun and knight here, and I think I can. Um, yes, yes, I can. Knight of the Coreliquary. Okay. Cool. Thanks for that. That was a cool one. We're going to go back to Space Jam, I guess. Eight coat. Space. Okay, they scoop. All right. I'm doing a little bit of a Space Jam shimmy, but you all can't see it because I'm a panda. I kind of shake my head back and forth, though. Okay. Um, what did we learn? On the draw, I don't think I want the Sylvans. Could see Needle. 
could see Oof. Could maybe see Endurance or Ranger. Yeah, that helped. That helped. I needed an, uh, an R mutation and, and some GTA 3. There were a few on there. Um, there's a brand Nubian song. I was in the early GTAs that I've, I have on my playlist. You want to hoop? So shoot, baby, shoot. Needle on just Bombardier and maybe the Fable card. So I don't know. All right. This deck usually has four or five Blood Moons. No bueno. Man. I'm going to keep it, but I'm not happy. It's probably this saga, huh? It ain't it ain't forest. It ain't pun. It ain't green sun. So it's it's like definitely these three. And I'm definitely gonna want at least one fetch. Could see the other fetch, maybe. Maybe I just need one fetch. And like the saga could be good. If they turn zero blood moon me, we're okay. Chalice on one. Okay. It's the slam jam. I feel like it's a little too soon for the saga. I'm going to make them think. Well. Fable. Um, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I I do like Fable. Um, it's kill token for sure, I guess. Make them rummage first. Oh yeah, I love this one. Moon, okay. So now they're like, God -eam. And they have Chalice on one. Knight is a five five, which is formidable. The other option is uh outland liberator yeah i 
I'm gonna think about this. I got 14 minutes on the clock. I think because I have the second green sun. Yeah. I think because I have the second one. I feel fine. If I had one green sun. Um. Outland would be nice because I have Saga in hand. Night is good. Rabble. Okay. I think we pun Kiki Jiki. Get up. Oh, we can't get back. Um, whoops. Okay. No, it's what it is. Hey, Finn. Guess I should have put the saga in the yard. Cause if they have Fury here, it's pretty bad. Panda Daddy. Yeah. Pretty scared. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, it may. It's definitely uh, proven at this point, I think. Pretty nervous. That's three damage tonight.
right? Just three. They sacked the Tritosphere and dealt two to it. Yeah, yeah, five. Oh. I don't understand. Knight was a 6-6. Six, six. I don't know. There was a 6-6 six, six there, though. Five plus two. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yes. Um, definitely making some mistakes here. I realized they had the chalice out still. So definitely would have tapped differently. Okay. Yep, we're in trouble. I think if I would have played Knight that turn, I would have been better off. We're in big trouble here. That Chalice. Damn. I'm in big trouble. Less than 40, I think. Damn, I threw this game. I'm so upset. Yeah, need Force of Vigor this coming turn, or I lose. And I think even then, I'm probably dead. That's pretty good, though. I think I just throw Saga in the yard just to make Knight bigger. They probably should have attacked with the broadside, huh? Yeah, it it is. I just 
Okay. This is nuts. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so tough. I think I have to get Wasteland here. Uh, they had the Den of the Bugbear. So it's like close. All right. All right. The panda for the luck. Yeah. Oh, boy. That was a game.
I threw it a bunch of times. I bet you they're looking back at that game like they could have played it differently. That's magic. Panda got you there. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. That feels really good. <laughs> There was some agency. There was some agency. <laughs> I I think they, they played it pretty tight. Hey, Finn, thank you. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, bring the panda back more often. Yeah, thank you for that. Panda knows what they're doing. Panda's pro gamer. Strass Daddy's just a bad gamer. Um, wow. That feels really good. Very nice. <laughs> Shark would be cool. That just steps it up a notch. Um, yeah. So, um, we look back at the list here. Right before I got on, I said I'm going to stick with the third Force of Vigor. Um, and, you know, you never knew if you draw, unless you bring three different arts, which Force of Vigor you actually got. But three was the right call for the league. Uh, tomorrow I'll be on. Tomorrow's going to be when Moloch is. I'm going to hit the hay here. It's almost uh, 10 o'clock, unfortunately. But there is more legacy to be had, which is nice. Uh, there, I'm seeing a very good legacy streamer on right now who I'm looking forward to rating. Um, but yeah, thanks, Finn. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Definitely appreciate the uh, support there, too. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to have Moloch available. I'm not sure how I'm going to acquire it, if I'm going to have to buy a deck. Um, I do have the points and that kind of thing for it. Um, hard to say what the MVP of that league was. It, it's probably somewhere between Punfire and Force of Vigor, if I recall correctly. Yo, Grand Ham. Just coming off of a trophy, dude. I'm trying to be like you. Yeah, I'll have my tools tomorrow. There was a Jerky Boys skit. And I just remember, uh, he's like, the, uh, I think he's like calling, not a Sal Rosenberg, it's like his other character. And, uh, he's trying to get a job over the phone. And he's like asking them, you know, like, do they need a mechanic? And at the end, he's like, I'll bring my fucking tools. And every time I think of the word tools, I think of that. Jerky boys, boy. That's, uh, that's how we had fun. In the 90s, I guess. You prank call people. Now no one picks up the phone. Oh, boy. You only have one trophy, but you have some challenge wins. I'm looking at only one trophy, actually, for this league. Or for this season. Um, yeah, so... Uh, definitely great seeing everybody. Uh, trophy. Feels really good. Uh, I have a really good streamer to raid. Um... <laughs> yeah, yo, I hate gambling so much. I I hate opening packs of cards. I um, if you were to like take the human value of winning twenty dollars versus losing twenty dollars, and you were to put them like, like score them, it's not an even score for like points of shitty for losing and points of happy for winning for me like winning five dollars i'll say is like plus five losing five dollars is like minus 20 i'm like yeah seriously i wouldn't even put a quote yeah yo we went gambling me and romario and mike and you know your friends from down there i can't bring myself to gamble i just can't like I know the odds are stacked against me. And I'm just like, I'm not gonna... Not just that, too. Like, 
can't you just sneak a flask into like like if you want to drink like can't you just sneak a flask into like a casino and just like take a sip or two in the bathroom is that just like my inner attic like mindset of like why would i pay them like 20 bucks when i could just you know yeah go to the car or something you know fucking drink out of a Gatorade bottle while you make a phone call and come back in. Like, I, I, I think I'm clean as a whistle, you know? Like, I don't do anything, but, like, that's, like, the kind of shit that goes through my mind. Like, you know, I was cool back in my 20s. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm nothing now, you know? Yeah, maybe... Then you got to be organized enough to, like, put the cards from the treasure chest somewhere. But shit, I'm keeping you all from some really good legacy here. Talking about being a scumbag in a casino full of scumbags. Um, Brazilian streamer, I think, speaks both... I think mostly speaks English on his streams, if I recall. Um, good player. A lot of trophies. Uh, plays a lot of different decks. Uh, also, follow Granham, X Granham, and Romario Vidal. Follow Romario, uh, and also follow Carador underscore, and also um, uh, be kind to your neighbor, and follow, like, and subscribe. All right, so long. Everyone should learn Portuguese. I second that. We'll we'll, we'll end the stream on that. Everyone should learn Portuguese. Go home and...